India is fast moving in space with our own SSLB, PSLB, GSLB, but we've had a kind of guidance and friendship that helped us come to this spot. And one of the biggest friends for India in our space race was former USSR and then currently Russia. And we are very much honored to speak one of the cosmonauts. Remember, for Russia, it's cosmonaut. For others, it's astronaut. For India, it's Gaganaut. And we are having a lot of plans. And through all this, they've been friends with us. And we have another person called Sergei Korsakov. He has been in the International Space Station for six months. Thank you so much for speaking to us. So mm -hmm. how was your trip to India? Um, my trip to India is amazing because India is an amazing country and very colorful very uh, hospitable. Hospitable, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm yes. sorry. No problem. That's why I need to interpret. Not hospitable. <laughs> hospitable. Hospitable. Hospital. Hospital. Uh, and people in, of India are great, very smart, very interesting. So for me, it's a new experience and a very big experience, almost like flight to space, because it's a oh, different world for me. <laughs> right. I was going to ask you about that. We are people who stare at the night sky to see at the stars. You've been to the International Space Station, spent six months over there, mm -hmm. close to the stars. How was that experience? Yes, I've been close to the stars, but not as close as I want. Just four, Much closer. Four, 400 kilometers closer. But uh, the other side of this journey is that I can see the Earth, our planet, uh, from the space, with, from new perspective, that show us that our planet is our own planet without boundaries, uh, borders. So we have to keep it, keep it peaceful, safe, and such a nice place to live. Only place where we can live. <laughs> <laughs> and so. Uh, Indian space development. Russia has been a partner and a friend and a guide for a long time. So the developments in Indian space, mm -hmm. uh, how do you see that in the last 10 years? Mm -hmm. um, I watch India's progress in space exploration with large interest and I'm very glad that India goes very fast and uh, I could only wish uh, new successes and more more interesting missions and new goals to achieve. The last time uh, uh, an Indian went to space was with the help of USSR, mm -hmm. that was Rakesh Sharma, and now India is planning to send three Gaganauts who are being trained in Russia yes. as well. So would you like to say anything about uh, the uh, training or uh, any kind of guidance for them? Yes, I know these guys, we trained um, not together but near which other... You, you trained with the Gaganauts? Yes. Okay. So they are really interesting, strong and smart and uh, uh, I would say very, very... Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic, yes, uh, men. So I believe that they will achieve everything that they want to do. Sergey, nearly uh, like uh, 1.3 billion people in India mm -hmm. are they, our dream is actually to see these Gaganauts go to space. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the biggest thing is that, and they want to know how is space. So how is space? How is space? <laughs> the space is vast and mysterious, but it's full of promises. So the possibilities in space are endless. And, uh, but these possibilities are not for each country separately. When we are united, we can achieve much more and go further and move faster and uh, explore. Uh, explore more and more. So how was your experience in International Space Station? Six mm -hmm. months you were there mm -hmm. in one space with only a few people instead mm -hmm. of the world with a lot of people. How was mm -hmm. it? Uh, it was interesting. It, uh, I'd like to spend more months, uh, six months is not enough for me. So every day I enjoyed this journey. Okay. And uh, uh, let me also ask you this question. Sunita Williams, the astronaut, mm -hmm. uh, she's in space. There was an issue with Starliner mm -hmm. and uh, many debates are coming up claiming that it might be a crisis 
or it could be something that needs to be worried. Is that so or is she all right? Um, they are all right, astronauts are all right and all the crew is uh, all right and I believe that any issue will be solved. So uh, I believe in the success of their mission. So in, ca in case the Starliner does not work, Soyuz or Dragon uh, crew, uh, crew thing can be used to bring her back? I guess space agencies uh, think about every possibility to use Dragon or Soyuz, so they will make the best decision they could. Thank you so much for speaking to Thank us. You. That was Sergey and uh, Korsakov. He's been in I ISS for six months looking at Earth and he says that the Earth he saw did not have any boundaries or any issues and he claims that this is a precious Earth that needs to be protected for the future.